YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa Sean back at Wits of Destiny 2. All right, folks, in this video, we're going to go over the full quest line for Redrix's Broadsword. That's going to be the new Pinnacle Crucible weapon available in Season 4 for Destiny 2 Forsaken. Now, we all know that Redrix's Claymore is the Pinnacle weapon for this season, and sound off in the comments section if you have one. I believe only about 8,000 people actually got that thing, and I am not one of them. I did not grind it out, and I am just not that good in Crucible when it comes to competitive. I just play quick play and have a 1.21 kill death ratio. Now, if you're not familiar with the Claymore, the Claymore is a high damage pulse rifle, but it's got a unique perk called Desperado, and it also has Outlaw on it. So what happens is you get a kill, you get Outlaw to proc, if you reload with Outlaw, you get Desperado to proc. Desperado is going to give you an insane fire rate, but you keep that damage in range. I believe you keep the range. You keep that damage, but you have a really fast firing pulse rifle. Now, I wish I had this thing for PvE activities because I could see it coming in very, very handy. And the Redrix's Broadsword is going to have the same perk, same archetype, same everything. It's going to have Desperado. It's going to have Outlaw. It's going to share the same slot, and it's going to have the same archetype, so same damage. However, it can roll, well, random roll with different barrels, and of course, you could put on year two mods. On Redrix's Claymore, you're not going to be able to put year two mods on it. So, before we get into the quest, let me just recap what they put into this week of Bungie. So, the Claymore is being retired in season four. Players who already have earned it will still be able to equip it and use it. Players will be unable to earn the Redrix's Claymore beyond season three. Shax will offer a new quest that players can complete to earn Redrix's Broadsword, a companion weapon to Redrix's Claymore. Now here's where everyone's kind of pissed off, because if you grinded for Redrix's Claymore, well now everyone else can get this broadsword, but trust me, when we go over the quest steps, and yes, we'll get to it in a second here, um, it's really, really long, guys. Redrix's broadsword will feature a similar talent arrangement, but it does not share the lore and triumphs associated with the Claymore. Once you've earned the weapon, random roll versions of Redrix's broadsword will start dropping from the Crucible Engrams. Each drop will have the fixed Outlaw plus Desperado combination, but each drop will also have randomized barrels, magazine, and masterwork perks. Players who earn the Claymore in Season 3 will receive additional bonuses. Owners of the Claymore will be granted an exclusive emblem when redeeming the corresponding triumph. Claymore owners will be eligible for drops of Redrix's broadsword from Crucible Engrams even without completing the corresponding quest. So now let's get into all the steps. So first off, Step 1. In the Crucible, defeat 200 opponents with Pulse Rifle Final Blows. Step 2, reach Valor rank Heroic. Step 3, in the Crucible, earn 75 double plays. Step 4, in the Crucible, defeat 150 opponents with precision final blows from any pulse rifle. Now, Step 5 is going to be about supers and abilities, so defeat 50 opponents with arc final blows, defeat 50 opponents with solar final blows, defeat 50 opponents with void final blows. That's all Step 5. Step 6 is going to be complete 25 Crucible matches in quick play, complete 25 Crucible matches in competitive, and complete 25 Crucible matches in rumble. Now, it just says complete. It does not say you have to win them. Now, Step 7, complete 20 Crucible bounties. Step 8, reset your Valor rank five times within a single season. Man, five times? That's a lot of grinding for a scrub like me. Step 9, visit Lord Shax and claim your reward. So this was all posted on Bungie.net from Dylan over on the forums over there. So I will link that in the description so this is not data mined or anything. I think a lot of people wanted to know what the quest was because everyone was like... You know, I grinded all this time to get the Claymore, and now everyone's going to be able to get this next weapon easily and not have to grind. No, <laughs> that step one through uh, nine right there, they, well, step through eight, really. Those are some pretty long things to do, and will I have time to grind all that out when I'm playing mostly PvE stuff for myself? Probably not. I want the weapon, but will I really have time to grind it this next season? I don't think so. We'll have to see. But I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. What do you think? So, guys, leave me a like in this video if you found it helpful or enjoyable. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that is it. I am out of here like Vladimir.